Hey, 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 y'all. So, let's get into this. Let's get into this. This is going to be my last um, peach video for the day. I might be back tomorrow or this weekend with another one. And, um, yeah, support the channel. Support the channel. I'm going to start putting my, um, in some videos, not all, my cash app. If y'all want to support your girl, support the channel, it'll be down there. You know, you don't have to. Y'all watching by supporting my channel and um, viewing it and hitting that like button. And watching it all the way through is supporting my channel, okay? So you're not obligated, but it's just out there if you want to. Yeah, bless it, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, but let's get into it. So I told y'all, you know, she's saying that she letting everybody know, her, you know, her business that we'll spend tonight. And he went to bed at 3.30 in the morning because he was cleaning. Like I said before, that's what he does. Clean while she, you know, sleep or whatever be the case. But now she's saying that the kids are, yeah, the kids are unhappy because it's the back and forth. People, kids want structure. Kids want peace. They don't want the back and forth, the this, you know, the, the drama and all that. So, of course, when the kids get older and you have the oldest son, he know more. He know, he know more. He know this ain't right. He know this is not uh, healthy. So, yes, he made because he like, you keep on saying, uh, telling us one thing and you do another. And Peach bring this stuff on herself. I don't feel sorry for, for Peach because she doesn't care about what she put out here or what she tell her kids. So, yeah, I think her son need to stay on her because she cares more about how he feels than what other people or what other people feel. You know what I'm saying? Or she should care about what he feels because that's her son. But like I said, um, I'm glad that she see that he's not happy with the way that she's doing things and going back and forth and not working on things and just keep on taking the mess and then breaking up, taking the mess and breaking up, breaking up, breaking up. But she doing it to herself and Wood is a part of the problem as well. But do I feel like she uses Wood? Yes, they use each other. So she wanted him to come over there and clean and all this stuff. She could have cast somebody else to do all that, to put up her TVs and stuff. She could have looked into resources, but now she wanted Wood to do that because she know that he would have came on her and did it. And there'd be a reason for her to see him as well. And they to see each other. But she don't know that it's uh, damaging to her kids, the back and forth. Yeah, so that's why I, one thing I never did, like I said, never did. You no know, man never stayed with me. I never had no man in and out of my house with my daughter. But, yeah, because I didn't want her to see that. You, you, your kids would see what you do, and then some of them do what you do. And then some of them learn from what you do. And it seemed like her son is learning from what she's doing. And he's like, I'm tired of this crap. And then the older kids, when they get older, they're going to say the same thing. You know? They just don't know right now because they're young. You know, they probably know a little bit, but they just really ain't vocal as the older child. Because the older child have a voice and can speak up for himself. And he's like, hey, take me no McDonald's. I ain't going to change the fact that y'all need to get together and just co-parent and... Stop this back and forth like y'all going to get back together. And just do what y'all need to do for the kids. But it's her life. And she don't have to deal with the consequences of her actions like she is now. And if she continue to go back and forth with him, because she's been doing it for years, on this platform or in life, period, it's going to affect the kids like it's already doing now. And I'm glad that she's aware of it a little bit. But do, she, do I feel like she's going to do anything about it? Hopefully, but do I feel like it? No. But I hope her, um, I hope her, her older son stays on her like, yeah, you, this ain't right. You know, speak and tell her, mama, you wrong for this. This is this, this unacceptable. Or whatever, but, but be, you know, be respectful. But sometimes you have to be blunt with people, you know, because being respectful all the time and being nice don't get your point across. But like I said, he is the child, so he needs to still be respectful. But, yeah, I'm glad that she see that he's not happy with this crap. you like, you telling me one thing. That's why you keep kids out of your business. But they still see it. So when they live in a home with you, 
So it's like they gonna say something regardless if you in your business or not. But some stuff they won't know if she wants to tell them. And so she telling him that this is it. This is how we get a divorce and all this. And then he back over there to spend the night and not leave. Now he could have came over there. He really shouldn't have been coming over anyway to help her out with this stuff because she should have did it herself. I got somebody to help her out, but she wanted him to do it because she know he always do does it. Cause it's convenient, you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, that's how I feel. But I'm glad that her son um saying something. I'm glad he's saying something because it's very toxic. It's very unhappiness. It's very draining. It's very not healthy for your kids to see back and forth with your parents. Cause kids want peace. You know what I'm saying. Even though everything in life is not peaceful, but you know, when you growing up, you want peace. You know what I'm saying? You don't in your home. You know, you don't want a drama. The back and forth, the drama and all that stuff with your parents. And um, they just keep on doing it because it's that it rub up on your kids. And some of them learn from it. Some of them don't. But do I feel sorry for Peach? No, I don't because she come over here being cocky and her shorts and stuff like that looking dumb. But, um... Yeah, I just feel sorry for the kids, you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that she recognizing that her son is not happy with her. And he should be. He shouldn't be. Neither one of them, you know what I'm saying? But we will see how all this play out. Like I said, this is my last video on her today. Uh, yeah, hopefully. But 9 out of 10 is yours, because I did, I did two on her. Um, and I don't want to keep on just draining it, you know what I'm saying? But I will be back tomorrow with another one on her. And if anything else come up on this YouTube platform that's worth me talking about, I will be back. Also, y'all can support the channel. Uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Um, and also go over to my second channel, Vet Has Spoken. I have different content over there. And, um, yeah, support that channel as well. See y'all in the next one. Bye.